Today, we're tackling 50 quick pediatric facts you need to know before your exam. I'll pause briefly after each fact, but feel free to pause the video if you need more time. Let's get NCLEX ready together. Statement 1. If a child has a respiratory disorder, monitor for dehydration and weight loss. Statement 2. Parents must verbalize understanding to call the poison control center during a poisoning event. Statement 3. During a vomiting episode and signs in lethargy, the priority is to maintain a patent airway and turn the child on the side. Statement 4. Late signs of intracranial pressure in a child are bradycardia, altered pupil size and reaction, decreased consciousness, and coma. Statement 5. Children diagnosed with hemophilia cannot participate in contact sports, but can participate in swimming. Statement 6. A child with iron deficiency anemia should receive iron in between meals. Statement 7. A child diagnosed with chlamydial conjunctivitis should be assessed for sexual abuse. Statement 8. The moral reflex is present at birth, but disappears by 6 months. Statement 9. The classic sign of Kawasaki syndrome is strawberry tongue. Statement 10. Signs of increased intracranial pressure in an infant include irritability, high-pitched cry, bulging fontanelle, separated cranial sutures, and poor feeding. Statement 11. Presence of glucose and drainage from the nose or ear indicates cerebral spinal fluid leakage. Statement 12. The four defects of tetralogy of phthalate are ventricular septal defect, overriding aorta, pulmonary stenosis, and right ventricular hypertrophy. Statement 13. Monitor for normal bowel sounds after post-hydrostatic reduction is performed in a child with intussusception. Statement 14. A child diagnosed with glomerulonephritis is expected to have hypertension. Statement 15. Droplet precautions should be set for a child diagnosed with mumps. Statement 16. Lack of pulse in the affected limb placed in a cast is the sign of compartment syndrome. Statement 17. That is, amaticus is the most severe form of an asthma attack. Statement 18. Pertussis, also known as whooping cough, is a highly contagious respiratory tract infection that is preventable by vaccine. Statement 19. Fifth disease is a viral illness known as slap cheek rash due to the child's cheeks appearing bright red. Statement 20. Projectile vomiting is seen in a child with pyloric stenosis. Statement 21. Dijoxin should be administered to a child one hour before meals or two hours after. Statement 22. A fever in an infant that is less than one month old is considered an emergency. Statement 23. Cleft lip defect is usually performed between the ages of three months to six months. Statement 24. A positive quantitative sweat chloride test is a diagnostic test for cystic fibrosis. Statement 25. The most common cancerous renal tumor in children is called Wilms tumor, which is also known as nephroblastoma. Okay, that was the first 25 pediatric quick facts. Want to see how effective my digital flashcards are for NCLEX prep? Grab your 160 free flashcards at cutynurses.com slash start and see for yourself. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to stay updated with our latest insights and tips. Now, let's dive into the next 25 pediatrics quick facts. Statement 26. A child with bronchitis should be encouraged to have increased fluid intake. Statement 27. The most common bone cancer in children is osteosarcoma, which is also known as osteogenic sarcoma. Statement 28. Signs and symptoms of intussusception are current jelly-like stools with blood and mucus. 
Statement 29. Handwashing education is essential to prevent the spread of viral hepatitis. Statement 30. Appendicitis can lead to sepsis or death. Statement 31. Laryngotracheal bronchitis, also known as croup, can be treated with antibiotic only if there is a bacterial infection present. Statement 32. Calculate the pediatric dosage to the nearest hundred for subcutaneous and intramuscular injection. Statement 33. Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever is transmitted by an infected tick bite. Statement 34. Infection in the child's bloodstream or tissue can cause an infection in the bone, which is known as osteomyelitis. This requires immediate medical attention. Statement 35. Infants and children are more prone to otitis media, which is an infection of the middle ear. Statement 36. Being overweight is the biggest risk factor for developing type 2 diabetes during childhood. Statement 37. People with Marfan syndrome are usually tall with abnormally long arms, legs, fingers, and toes. Statement 38. After a week of flu symptoms, the nurse should suspect other complications in a child. Statement 39. A child with hydrocephalus should be repositioned frequently to prevent pressure ulcers. Statement 40. Hyperlipidemia can lead to heart diseases in a child. Statement 41. Bacterial meningitis can be diagnosed by collecting cerebral spinal fluid through a lumbar puncture. Statement 42. Patent ductus arteriosus is a heart defect in which there is an opening between two blood vessels leading from the heart. Statement 43. A child with hemophilia A can receive intravenous infusion of factor 8 after a fall. Statement 44. The nurse providing care for a child with seizure disorder should watch out for apnea and cyanosis. Statement 45. Pavlic harness is worn to correct developmental dysplasia of the hip and can be removed during bathing. Statement 46. Braces does not cure scoliosis, but can slow the curvature progression. Statement 47. Blood pressure is higher in the upper extremities in comparison to the lower extremities for a child with coarctation of the aorta. Statement 48. Closed head injury is more serious than open head injury due to the potential complication of increased intracranial pressure. Statement 49. Vitamins K, A, D, and E. are administered to a child with cystic fibrosis. Statement 50. Impetigo is a contagious skin infection that presents with red sores and blisters on the face. Awesome job on completing all 50 quick pediatric facts. Don't take your next pediatric exam or the NCLEX until you're comfortable with these 50 facts. Need more pediatric nursing practice? Check out my pediatric video, 100 True or False Statement for Next Generation NCLEX. Want to elevate your nursing skills? Don't miss my next video where we uncover essential nursing school hacks that will help you become an outstanding nurse. Thanks for dropping in and see you in the next video.